are rallying today, calling for Governor Hochul to include funding in the state budget for electric school buses that they say could improve the health of countless people in the community. News 12's Jeanne Caldwell is in Hunts Point with more. Yeah, well, this rally comes after Governor Kathy Hochul pledged for school buses across the state to go completely electric by 2035 in her State of the State address back in January. Rallyers today say that commitment falls short and fails to address how school districts will fund this transition. Students, elected officials, and several organizations gathered in Hunts Point, chanting with signs to make their voices heard. The group is calling for Governor Hochul to allocate $300 million for electric buses in the state budget. They're also demanding for those funds to be prioritized for school districts that have been historically underinvested. Organizers say the electric buses would reduce emissions, improve air quality, and and improve the health of people in the community. We're in the middle of a climate crisis and we have to reduce our emissions throughout the state. Uh, and tackling the emissions from the transportation sector is one of the key components. In the South Bronx, we have the highest asthma rate in the nation and that's because we deal with major air quality issues. So electrifying our transportation is a really important opportunity to make sure that we're investing in the technology that's going to make us all healthier. This rally is a last push to get funding for electric school buses included into the state budget before it goes into effect on April 1st. In Hunts Point, Jeanne Caldwell, News 12. All right, Johnny, thank you for that. And a spokesperson for Governor Hochul issuing a statement saying in part, the governor's plan includes transitioning 100% of New York State's roughly 50,000 school buses to electric by proposing legislation that all new school bus purchases after 2027 be zero emission, which in turn will make all buses on the road electric by 2035.